Hey guys, this is how you group and ungroup objects. So obviously objects are their own separate things, but if you want these to move as a unit together, you can select them all, type group, and all of a sudden, every time you select it, it will exist as a group. Now you can name your groups and have multiple groups. So if I, you can copy and paste groups. You can have groups within groups. They're really useful, really helpful stuff. Um, and the reverse to inverse that and get out of that, if I want to edit just this block, say I want to delete this block, is go ahead and click it, type ungroup. And obviously you had a nested group. That's when you have a group inside a group. And so you have to ungroup this separately and then you can get out of it. But yeah, grouping is very, very helpful when working on larger models, especially as your Rhino models start to get more complicated. Uh, grouping is just a really great way to stay organized. So be sure to use it and add it to your workflow.